I just knew the paint wasn't going to come off the brush unless I did. I'm going to have a happy little tree. He lives right there. Just a little guy. Little guy. Right on the side of the barn. Let's go on the other side over here. You know me. <laughs> Bravery test. Here we go. Bigger tree. Big old tree. I like his evergreens. They're so much fun to make. And they're very simple. Very, very simple. Takes a little practice like everything else. Everything in your life takes a little practice. But you can learn to paint this technique faster than any painting technique that I have ever seen. And I think I've tried just about all of them. There. And oils are so forgiving. And they they possess a richness that no other medium possesses. I think that's why the old masters painted mostly in oils. They just have a, a richness. Other mediums to me are very flat when they're dry. There. And they're harder. This is the easiest because it's very forgiving. You can't make a mistake here. All right, let's take let's take some of that nice gray color we had. Maybe right in here. Maybe there's a little maybe there's a little path that just works its way out. Just works its way out here. Something about like that. Yeah, we just put some gray in there so it can come right on right on out. Yeah then. Put some highlights on our little evergreens. We clean off another spot. We're running out of room today. We're running out of room. There we go. Now, I'll take liquid white, titanium white, and phthalo blue. I changed the blue. I've been using Prussian blue through the entire painting. Now I want to use phthalo blue because I want to highlight these trees and the phthalo blue will stand out a little bit. Just want it to, to stand out. This is a blue spruce. I just made a decision. Command level decision right here. See? You decide what kind of tree lives in your world. All right. Mix up a little more of that little blue and white. Don't want that other little... Don't want that other little tree left out right there. Now you have to decide which tree is in the foreground. I think the small one here is. So you do the one behind him first. How's that? See? And the little tree over here. Don't forget him. He'll get sad. He'll get sad. But we'll give him a little color on here. There we are. See? That easy. That easy. Okay. Let's try here. A little bit of titanium white. Allow it to pick up some of that color. Allow it to pick it up intentionally. So that way you get all these different things happening. There. Okay. Isn't this neat? These whole winter scenes are a lot of fun. And I really think they might be the easiest ones to do. And we just blend that a little bit till it looks nice and soft and pretty. 